Update, I am 14M, and I can hear my dad hitting my baby sister 2F because she is crying. Story here. I had posted the update on the original story because I needed to wait 48 hours but I decided to repost the update. So my dad is abusive and so is my mom. She stopped hitting my sisters and I a while ago because I told her hitting my sister is exactly the same as when I was beaten up by teachers in an old school and I think it made her feel bad for hitting me and my sisters like the people she called evil for called evil for hitting me. I talked to my mom about my dad and her and the long-lasting effects it will have on us, I told her. I would most probably never talk to them ever again when I am older because of their abuse, this hit her heart, knowing that her own offspring hated her. I told her if she hit my sister I would get evidence. Save it on Google Drive and sue them for my sister's custody when I am able to, I told her that I would have revenge for what she did to my sisters and I when I am older if it did not stop, I have access to their bank details our equivalent of a social security number and now our mobile transfer service I also have access to our Wi-Fi router and can block them I have access to all their accounts she understood why I do not talk to them unless spoken to unlike how I used to as a kid I stopped talking to them a few months ago she was hurt but understood my mom promised to know to hit us ever again I love my mom she is awesome and after presenting her with scientific data about effects of hitting my baby sister she was on board with stopping my dad as well my mom was among the top in sciences in business in high school in my country but at the time universities chose what course you do not you she had to do human resource manager which unfortunately cannot support us where we live in Kenya, she only makes about 1,000 United States dollars a month. So when we confronted my dad, he is a dumbass and his logic is flawed. About his abuse, he rejected the scientific way and said our ancestors did it for years and he would beat my baby sister when she misbehaved, doing normal baby stuff, like refusing to eat. Refusing to sleep etc. He used the Bible and claimed that even Proverbs says we should hit our children when they misbehaved, spare the rod and spoil the child, and told us we would understand if we were as wise as him. He says this a lot. He claims he has wisdom because of his old age. He is 38, when he normally factually or logically incorrect or stating the obvious and calling it wisdom. My dad is the breadwinner of our family hence if we were kicked out we would probably not be able to make it. My mom is going to get some parenting books and look for some courses online. My mom now gets the baby when she cries and uses other ways she found on the internet to punish her for bad behavior and reward her for good behavior. She is making sure the baby is safe and happy and love. She is going to read on parenting and give my baby sister a good time growing up as much as I want to get revenge on my father. If I do something it will affect my sisters. I believe karma will get him when we will not be affected by it. I am able to get revenge but I think having no one to take care of him and no one to love him for him is satisfying enough. I am going back to boarding school soon and I am so excited not to be abused by him anymore for the next three years of my life. I needed my mom to intervene because of me going to boarding and I am glad that she is at least sensible fingers crossed i succeed and study to become a computer programmer in germany my dream job and my sisters grow up well and become successful and break the cycle of abuse though i think my second sister will abuse her children if she has any she already hits my baby sister but shut that down when i noticed thank you for your help guys i tried to contact the child helpline but they did not respond Hey there, I am so proud of you for finding evidence and working hard to bring your mom over to your side. Please know that your dad is cherry picking Bible phrases and if your sister is only two then she isn't fully aware of her actions yet so punishment is just cruel. It serves no educational purpose and only injures her mind and body. 
Thank you for working hard to help your sisters and stand up for them. I hope your dad comes around. Keep calling and searching for any type of support you can get to help your family break the cycle. Also take care of yourself. Best of luck to you friend. I hope things get better for you and your sisters. Keep trying the child line. Stay safe. Wow, I'm honestly so impressed with how you handled this. And at 14, your maturity is beyond that of a 38-year-old in less than half the time. You are an amazing person for helping your mother and beyond that. Forgiving her. You are going to be such a force when you grow up and so many people are going to admire your insight. Wishing you a wonderful life folded hands medium light skin tone. He who spares the rod hates his son, but he who loves him is careful to discipline him. Proverbs chapter 13 verse 24. Folly is bound up in the heart of a child, but the rod of discipline will drive it far from him. Proverbs chapter 22 verse 15. Do not withhold discipline from a child. If you punish him with a rod he will not die. Punish him with a rod and save his soul from death. Proverbs chapter 23 verses 13 to 14. The rod of correction imparts wisdom. But a child left to itself disgraces his mother. Proverbs chapter 29 verse 15. Many people use this to justify spanking or literally beating their children. Those people are dumb fucks. A shepherd uses the rod to guide his flock, not beat it. The rod is discipline and guidance, accountability and consequences. There is nothing that says the rod is meant to beat, spank the child. This is just an excuse people use to justify treating kids like shit. Good job! Does your priest believe that it's good to hit children? If not then ask him to talk to your father. The fact that someone of your age must teach parents how to be parents make me want to vomit. Especially as a father of almost two-year-old girl. You are a real hero. I hope your life will only get better from now on. Please tell your mom to get the book Gentle Discipline by Sarah Akul Smith. If she is on Facebook, she should look for LR NOS Gentle Parenting page. Thank you for being your baby sister's advocate. Thank you for trying to break the cycle of abuse. You are making the world a better place. Ask him to show you where in the Bible it says, spare the rod, spoil the child. Hint, it doesn't. Hey, I am so super proud of you. You are so strong, wise, and mature. I'm so happy your sister has a brother like you in her life. Times may be tough as your family develops. And I want you to remember you can get through it. You are an amazing person. Oh, I hate when people use religion as an excuse to do terrible things. How the heck did you turn out smarter than your parents? That's amazing. Good for you for advocating for your siblings. You are one brilliant kid. I'm glad to hear that your mom had a change of heart and action heart and I hope your dad will come around too. I wish you the utmost luck in your computer programmer goal heart. You are an amazing human. I hope you can reach someone to help your family while you're gone. I also hope your mother will continue to follow her new parenting ways. Since your father uses religion to justify the beating, is there a priest, or a religious authority, around that could talk to him? I wish you a happy life. You are an amazing person. I'm so sorry for what you're going through. I wish you the best. Please look after your sister along with your mother and get to her at the first sign of trouble before your father gets to her. Sounds like your father is likely to be going to live and die alone without his family and his old age equally impressed and proud of you up heart you're a hero i wish you all the best call the police on your father now he is abusing your two-year-old sister 
I was in a similar situation a couple years ago with my dad and I ended up moving back in with my mom. She really saved. I can still talk with him but yeah? I'm really glad you were able to solve things the way you I can't imagine what it took. I'm glad for you. Send me an address and I'll take care of it. Clenched fist. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.